So you guys are looking for brokers. You want high leverage, you want good spreads, you want all the things that you find in a good broker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a few things that you really need to look out for, as well as how to find the right broker that suits your trading style. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So with all of the regulations coming out all across the world with brokers and different leverage types, people are looking for a new broker. For example, in the United States, you're only allowed to have a one to 30 leverage account. That's why a lot of people go offshore. A lot of different brokers are actually in Australia because you can get higher leverage there. But now with the regulations changing in Australia, they're moving to lower leverage. I myself was using blueberry markets for a long time, but since the regulations are changing, I had to cancel that brokerage account and go for a new one. After scouring the internet for a very, very long time and testing out multiple brokers, I finally landed on one. I will tell you what it is later on in this video, but I wanna tell you what things you should be keeping an eye out for when choosing your broker. So the main things that you want to do is to stay in profit, right? So to be profitable, you need to have low spreads, meaning the buy and sell prices at any given time are very tight so that the price doesn't have to go up too much to get out of that spread for you to get into profit. A one pip spread is very, very nice and that's kind of the standard that I'm looking for across the board. The next thing you wanna consider is the commission. How much money is your broker taking every time that you place a trade. For example, my broker takes seven cents for every 0.01 lot size position. It's pretty small. Some brokers actually offer commission free trading, which is good in theory, but if their spreads go from one pip to five pips, but they have no commission, you're actually paying a lot more. The next thing that you wanna consider is what you like trading. Do you like trading Forex? Do you like trading crypto? Do you like trading indices? You need to pick a broker that allows you to trade the things that you want to trade. Me, for example, I love trading Ethereum, I love trading US 30, and I love trading one Forex pair, Australian dollar, US dollar. So if I have a list of brokers and they don't allow me to trade those three things, they're not even a consideration. So. When choosing a broker, what do you need to do? The only way to realize how good the broker is is to actually test them out. You can sign up for any broker that you want and you can create a demo account with that broker. That way you can see the spreads, you can see the commissions. If you have issues, you can contact their customer support and see if that is good. The only thing you can't test is if your funds are withdrawable with ease. So just do a quick YouTube search or a Google search to see how good that broker is when it comes to withdrawing. Now, the next thing to consider is the position size and contract size that your broker offers. A lot of my inbox is people DMing me about why my 0 0.01 on US 30 makes more money than their 0 0.01. And it all has to do with the contract size and you can actually find that out. When you open up a demo account with your broker, I will show you that right now. So when you open up a demo account with your broker, you can use MT4. Just log into MT4 on your phone using the username and password that was emailed to you from your broker. It's a username for your demo account and a password for your demo account. You can create a demo account with any amount of money that you want in it. I would consider using a reasonable amount, something that you would start a real live trading account with like $100 or $1,000. Don't do these $100,000 demo accounts because it teaches you reckless practices when you're beginning. So for me, you can see the three things that I like to trade the most, Ethereum, US 30, and Australian dollar, US dollar. And you can also see the spreads here. I basically have a one pip spread on Forex pairs, which is really, really nice. It's the difference between the buying and the selling. On US 30, it is a $2 spread, which is very, very nice. And on Ethereum, because it's a cryptocurrency and it is more volatility, it's a much higher spread at $3, but it's far better than Bitcoin on my broker because Bitcoin has, I think like a $100 spread, which sucks, don't, don't do big spreads. Now, to find out the contract size, what you wanna do is click on it and you can either trade, look at the chart or get the details. On the details tab, it will show you the contract size, how much the swap is if you let the trade go into the next day, 
and all of the information that you need to know on here. But to really test it out, you just wanna trade. You wanna make three different orders. You wanna buy a 0 0.01, you want to buy a 0 0.10, and if you've got enough money in your demo account, you wanna buy a one standard lot. This will actually show you in dollars how much you can make for each dollar move on US 30, or a Forex currency pair, or a cryptocurrency pair. And one of the main things that you wanna look out for, because some brokers are notorious for this, when you click on a position and you want to close it, and you click this close with loss button or close with profit button, how long it takes to actually execute this trade. Some brokers have a very long lag time, which is just enough for you to make less money and or not be in profit anymore if you wanna close a trade at break even. So click the close button and see how fast this occurs. So for me, my requirements are a low spread, being able to trade cryptocurrencies and indices, a high leverage, either one to 200 or one to 500, and the ability to withdraw in cryptocurrencies because I kinda like to stay under the radar. In order to do that, I had to go with a unregulated broker, which means they're not regulated by any government body. I am allowed to pay in cryptocurrencies and withdraw cryptocurrencies, so every one of my trades that go into profit at the end of the month, I'll transfer to Bitcoin, transfer that Bitcoin into my Bitcoin wallet, take out what I need for living expenses through a Bitcoin ATM, and I'm a happy camper. So in order to meet all those criteria, my actual like pool of different brokers to choose from was quite small. And then I had to sift through which ones were crap and which ones were good. I eventually landed on Osprey FX. They allow me to trade crypto. They got great spreads, low commissions, and I can use crypto. It's simply a personal preference for me and it might not fit your trading style. So what you need to do is take into consideration all the things that I said in this video and what your trading style is and what you're looking for out of a broker and then just go with them. But what you need to do to find that is actually test each one. Create a demo account on all the brokers on your list that meet your requirements, test them out, see if they're good, demo on them. If you like it, sign up, pay in money to that broker and use them. Now, if you guys wanna sign up for Osprey, there's a link down below. But if you're still watching this video, guess what? That means that you like the video. So if you wouldn't mind, go below my face and click the thumbs up button. It really makes me feel good about myself and it helps the channel grow. And if you got some value out of this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.